keen wargamers are always on the lookout for terrain. I thought I'd give these Daypole Kitmaster plastic buildings a go. These are plastic buildings designed for model railways in OOHO scale, roughly 187th scale. This is close enough to 1 100th on the table. These moulds are old. Some of the original moulds are over 50 years old. As you might expect, the quality of the kits reflects the era in which they were produced, and with moulds this old some parts show some flash. OK, make that a lot of flash. So expect to do some clean up here. Although designed for model railways, there are a number of different buildings in the range that might suit tabletop wargaming for flames of war or tanks. Here's a general store and a country inn. But the one I'm building is this one, CO20 Thatched Cottage. Each kit contains the plastic parts as well as the printed instruction sheet. Some kits also include sheets of transparent card for making windows. So here's what I've got so far. This is assembled and has had the base colours painted on. Assembly was reasonably straightforward, although another pair of hands to get all the roof parts together might have been nice. Take care to get the walls square. The roof parts might help here as they force and hold the alignment a bit when fitted. It took about six different coats to get the wall colours and the plastered beams of this Elizabethan thatched cottage to an acceptable level. Hopefully some washes and detailing will blend this all in a bit more, but it's looking okay. I've modified it for wargaming by making the roof removable. It is a bit of a tight fit. I've reinforced inside the roof with pieces of sprue to strengthen it. I haven't bothered much about painting the insides. Maybe I can get some OOHO scale chintz wallpaper. There's enough room inside the building for a couple of medium infantry stands, up to three at a pinch. One modification I do plan is to add in a floor. Railway buildings don't need to put up with the amount of handling and transportation a wargaming building does, so this will help brace and support it, making it stronger. So I'm pretty happy with these. The thatched cottage took a bit of building and modifying, and painting the Elizabethan plaster was fun, but this will look good on the table. The country inn has some more plaster and beams, but the general store is brick, that's much easier to paint. Dapol products are made in the UK but are widely distributed so your local model or hobby store should be able to get hold of them. They're not particularly cheap, these cost between 17 and 20 Australian dollars each. While this is cheaper than resin buildings, you have to build and paint them yourself and they need to be modified for wargaming use. But these are an interesting option and I suggest you check them out. Music